All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second annual Kentucky stool and vacuum cleaner race off. Here on the left side, we have a shop vac from Lowe's from probably circa 2002, and a pro lift seat. Oh, Lowe's goes off the track, and oh, we have a wipeout, but it looks like the pro lift won. Today, I've uh, got this Scopima seat swivel that I'm going to try to install on the passenger side of the van. Gets me a little bit more living space over there. I do want to weigh this thing because it is pretty, pretty hefty. And uh, let's find out how much a Scopima passenger seat swivel for a Ford Transit actually weighs. All right, so about 32 pounds, 5 ounces somewhere around in there for the uh, weight and 14 point about 14.72 kilograms for the weight it don't really get any instructions with it um, there's partial instructions and a breakdown so it looks like you remove the seat and then you either install the swivel to the original base first or you install the seat to the swivel first I don't know one of the two um, we'll find out once we start taking things apart because most likely one method is not going to be is probably not going to work or it's going to be more complicated than the other so we'll, we'll do that um, there are some bolts here that come in the center and uh, some nuts as well so I'm gonna set those aside for now kind of wish I had gotten this before uh, Put everything in the van but timing and decisions it just didn't work out so i'm gonna have to remove a few things um i'm gonna have to take my curtains down and i'm hoping i have enough room to kind of sit the seat back up against this uh this sink here without having to take the sink out and uh you guys may have noticed i add a few uh niceties to the van as well so got a magnetic utensil holder and a vegetable and fruit hammock so that should be awesome all right so let's get to work on uh, taking this curtain down and i think i might have to i don't think i have to take the seat cover off so i think we're removing these screws here on the rails right there and then there's probably two more, so let's slide this up. And there's one there, and one there. So let's make sure we have the right uh, size socket and get started. The seat belt just kind of has to, to come with the seat. So let's see if we can manhandle this thing down a little bit. There may be some connectors under there, I'm not sure. So let me just double check. They're not uh, power seats, but there's probably an airbag. Yeah, there's an airbag, uh, some kind of connector under there. So let's see. Uh, so these are non-power seats but you can see it's probably the airbag connector here i think if i remove this bolt here i should be able to just slide that piece off all right i've just loosened that uh this bolt here in the connector and uh it was a seven millimeter and so let's see if the connector will come off now oh yeah so that just pops off and uh, that connector there and it looks like 
we cut one actually I stand corrected didn't have to cut anything this actually just kind of just kind of sits up there in, in the uh, in the hole and I just pulled it down and it came right off so should be able to remove the seat back now Access to the seat base. So uh, let's get our base. Sorry for the noise. We've got some got some landscaping stuff going on next door. But uh, let's get our base and see uh, what we should be doing here. Should we uh, install it to the seat first, or install it to the uh, to the original base here? Because I think we have to bend some stuff as well. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to try to. Uh, Put the base on first. I may be totally bass backwards wrong here and may not be able to get it on, but they provide uh, so I just kind of spun the top half so you can get access. Um, and it's pretty easy to tell which way it goes because these are beveled and the screws, the bolts that they actually send with it, um, have the same bevel. So they just screw right down to the factory points. Let's see if they line up real quick. Put one in here. I'm just going to put this on. And then the seat bolts So they give you a bolt, washer, and nut. And I'm just lightly putting them in there right now to see if I'm going to have to manipulate anything. Alright, so there's our four bolts in. Here's what people are talking about. So see this child safety. Uh, let's see if I can get a zoomed in. See this loop here? Um, I think it's for a child seat restraint mechanism. But what happens is the rail actually hits the um, this um, piece. Some people have cut it off. Some people have bent it down. So I'm definitely just going to try to bend it down and, uh, with some channel locks and then I'll test the operation and we'll plug the plug back in and I'll tighten down uh, the bolts here after I verify everything's operating correctly. So let's see if we can get uh, our, our channel locks and vice grips and uh, get some tape on there to uh, keep it from marring it up. I'm just gonna try to wrap one or these. I have this cloth um, electrical tape.
I don't like that. Um, that's just going to break the uh, the base if I bend that down without any heat. Probably better just to kind of cut it off. So I'm going to either try hacksaw or um, I might try the, the Dremel. You don't want to see how much I need to take off. That was pretty easy. So now I'm just gonna go get some file and uh, emery cloth and we'll clean up that uh, piece on the base there. All right, let's give it another test. Ta-da! All right, so let's uh, let's put the plug back in and uh, we'll uh, tighten all the bolts. And by the way, my jack in the 2019 Transit, the jack is under the seat. You don't have to relocate the jacket whatsoever. So it just the base sits right on top. It's very. Uh, very unobtrusive so uh, you can leave your jack under the seat and by the way I didn't have to trim any of uh, the plastic on the seat either uh, this is a 2019 Ford Transit with manual seats so it's a very simple seat while well, we're at it so one of the things that I heard mentioned as well is uh, I guess when they assemble these they put some points on here to help kind of position everything put it together so this piece sticks up here your plastic will catch the edge of that just a little bit you can cut these off you don't need them um, but i gotta be honest with you i don't know i might just file that down a little bit i don't even think i'm gonna mess with it right now because it doesn't it doesn't grab much i don't know how much difference that will be when you're actually in the seat it's probably gonna grab a little bit more so um Do is swivel the seat around to get better, better access. I mean, swivel the seat, not swivel the seat, but push the seat forward or backward to get access to these. So, it ended up working out pretty good. All right, so we're all tightened up. Let's take a look at, uh, and I'll show you what people talk about when they talk about how much wobble wobble a swivel has let's zoom out a little bit here so you know obviously you're not going to a solid four corner kind of mount system right you you've got the center pivot point now so you're going to have wobble and you look at me shaking the the seat there that's what they mean but when you get weight in the seat you can't really tell it so will it shake and Rattle going down some bumpy dirt roads. Yeah, it probably will just a little bit, but that's the price you pay for opening up kind of your living space when you when you sw when you uh, swing around. So um, again, these are these bases are they're very low profile. Um, let's see, I can take a tape measure and uh, tell you exactly how much it actually raised the seat here. Let's do that. All right. The base is right here, so the thickness of this guy is not much room. Let's see if I can try to do it without being in the way. It's about an inch, but it's not even an inch, so you're talking 15 sixteenths here, um, which is how much it increases the height of the seat. So that's fairly neg negligible in the world of uh, you know swivels that uh, raise the seat height up. All right, let's tidy it up now and let's see what we're gonna do with this, uh, this piece of plastic and that connection point over there. And before we do that, let's shut the door and see, because you're supposed to have the door open when you swivel these. It's always nice not to have, but I don't let's see what happens when you try to do it. Yeah, so no 
clearance at all there, so definitely have to have the door open. So let's see what we can do about this piece that sticks up over here, right here in this corner here. So we can probably just cut that off with the hacksaw like we did the other one. We don't need to cut all of it off, but right at the uh, right at the tip there. So uh, we got it filed down as smooth as a baby's bottom. Let's get our plug back in and then we can uh, start looking at painting the surface back there. I'm going to vacuum up all of the floorboard here in the back just to get any shavings that I can. Alright, let's clean it up a little bit. That's propyl. Found some uh, enamel, some black enamel, engine enamel in the uh, in the shed out back. I didn't even know I had it. So, all right, let's see what we need to tape off here. Anything that we don't want to paint on. That one, we'll let that dry and we'll get the front one. We got this one kind of cornered off with some cardboard there. Just give it a shot. That's it. And we'll let that dry. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Subscribe, comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps out tremendously. I appreciate everybody's support. You know what to do. Till next time, skill up and ride. Man up and go.